this is Stampy, and welcome to another Let's Play on Minecraft Story Mode. Uh, today, we are starting episode number six, A Portal to Mystery. And if you don't know, this uh, episode's going to be a little bit different, because I am actually a character in it. And so what that means is I have read the script of the episode, but only the scenes that I'm in. So there's going to be some parts of this story that I will know, and there's going to be a lot of parts that I don't know, and I think it's just going to be a lot of fun to, to play through anyway. So yeah, uh, let's go and get started then. A portal to mystery. So at the end of the last episode, uh, they Previously basically discovered... On Minecraft story mode. Oh, I'll let them tell you that rather glow. than me. <laughs> that enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. <laughs> Yeah, so as you can see, there's a lot of different portals that we can go through. But yeah, let's uh, go and find out which one we actually do go through. Oh, I think we've already gone through one. <laughs> and ended up here. What a lovely destination. Of all of the portals, all of the places we could have ended up, we end up here. Bat and Zombie Central. The bats are okay. The bats are pretty cute. The zombies I'm worried about. Oh, unless one hits you in the face as you fall down. Then it might not be quite so nice. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm seeing grass, forest, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Uh, um. Uh huh. Verdict says, definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. Oh, come on, can't you hear it? A uh, spooky forest? It's the sound of a new adventure. I bet this place is going to be awesome. I hope you're right. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. Okay, so maybe they did, but they can handle themselves no problem. They'll find the next portal just like we did, and hopefully we'll all be back together again soon. Well... I, for one, vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Yeah. What is that? Let's find out. Has no one mentioned all of the googlies? There are zombies literally absolutely everywhere. Move closer to investigate the tomb. What could go wrong? Seriously, what could go wrong here? <laughs> it's a book. A small floating book. I love the fact that how, like, most things are 3D, but then, like, items that, you know, normally look 2D, like the book, are just 2D and floating still. It says, invitation. Until he picks it up. And then, read immediately, your life depends on it. <clears throat> Greetings, traveler. Yep, that seems about right. Keep reading, Jesse. Got your back. Well, maybe we I could deal with the foodies first. I invite you to my first. mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's odd. Yeah, weird, right? Whoa! Oh. Uh. Toss it here. We're gonna we're gonna all read it as a, a team, I guess. Look, why can't we just deal with all of the googlies? And then we read the rest of the book, yeah? That just seems like a smarter way to do things. Oh, well, I guess they're making it work. You can read, right? Hang on, hang on! Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it! Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. I just love how tough they all now. It's just such a change Please to when they started. Zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, there's the path. Well, that sounded a little say, mysterious. This is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. You think this host is going to be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. I'm suspicious too, Lucas. This has trap written all over it. Unfortunately, with all these zombies everywhere, we can't exactly stick around out here. 
It's cool because the way they announced that we were all going to be in the episode is they they basically tweeted us with that same message saying that we have been invited to this mansion from the host. Bad, bad knees. Hey, just try not to die, okay? I'm trying to keep everyone together here. Sure, sure, that's fine. But you gotta catch me first. Come on, stick as a team. We're gonna get through this. So, as I mentioned, I have read some of the script, but only the scenes that I'm in. So I don't know everything. Like, all of this part, I, like, I knew nothing of this. So even though, you know, I do know some of the things that are gonna happen this episode... It's still going to be cool to, to kind of see them in the, the game and uh, and see myself. And all of the parts that I wasn't in, I have literally no idea. And all of the decisions, what they do, I have no idea for some of that stuff. So it is going to be a little bit different this episode, but I think it's going to be even better. Just because seeing myself in the, the game is just going to be so incredible. And it's going to be weird as well because you're going to hear my voice coming from the game with my character speaking and me speaking. So I'm like, <laughs> it's, it's going to be it's going to be peculiar, uh, but it should be exciting. And it's not only me in it, and there's also LD Shadow Lady, uh, Stacy Plays, uh, Captain Sparkles and uh, Dan TDM uh, as well uh, are all going to be characters uh, in the, uh, the the game as well. And it's cool reading some of the credits because I recognize some of these names now. <laughs> I've spoke to some of these people, which is uh, uh, pretty cool as well. And it looks like they uh, they haven't let us down with the uh, the opening either. Like Minecraft Story Mode always has like the coolest opening cutscenes. Like they always have like these credit sequences where you're kind of playing through them as well, and they're always really awesome. It just kind of uh, sets up the uh, the whole rest of the uh, uh, the episode in such a an amazing way. Uh, it looks like for now, uh, we all just want to, to try and get to this mansion, even though there probably will be some some bad things in the mansion. I don't think it can be much worse than this because this is um this is a lot of googlies. I did read um in the script that oh yeah, it said there's going to be a lot of zombies outside. I didn't quite realize they meant this many. <laughs> I understand the uh, the urgency and the the need to to stay inside of the uh, the mansion now. And I kind of just like the the whole setup now anyway, because there's basically like these millions of portals. We can just go to like endless new and like different worlds. Uh oh, that's not the mansion. That's a waterfall, right? Hey, 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 hey! Oh no! Oh come on! I'm pressing it. Oh, I failed then. I don't know if I was destined to fail or I didn't press it fast enough. Oh, I've got to move. I've got to move. Grab it. Grab the vine. Lucky that didn't break. <laughs> to be fair, it is just some water down there anyway. I, th I think that would have been fine. I mean, they would have been swimming with zombies, but zombies aren't the best swimmers anyway. All right, looks like we're getting closer to the mansion, but where's everyone else? It's just me and Ivor at the moment. Probably not the person you want to be stuck with. I'd rather be stuck with Petra or someone rather than Ivor. I feel like Ivor won't be quite as useful. Look at the way I'm running. That is called running with purpose. That's what that's called. <laughs> it looks like I could hit them, and I'm kind of just trying to, to run past them all. I don't know. We've got archers on the bridge as well. The skeletons have shown up as well. Oh, they're actually, actually kind of helping us out a little bit here. I don't know if that's what they're intending to, to do, but that made things a little bit easier. And there we go. There's Petra and Lucas. They've uh, come to, to save the day. Or rain googlies down on our head, one of the other two. And look at that! Oh, that is awesome! I did that! Well, I pressed uh, a few button prompts while Jesse did it, but <laughs> I feel like I did it! I'm awesome! It's funny because I'm playing as Jesse, but then I'm going to see the real me. So, like, when I say me, like, who am I talking about? Jesse or Stampy in this? Who knows? <laughs> all right. Luckily, this is Minecraft after all, so if there's somewhere you can't go, make it so you can go there. <laughs> and we've arrived, I think. Is this the, uh, the mansion? Yep. There we are. We've arrived at the uh, the front door, and now there's going to be no danger. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's way too mysterious. Even Jesse knew it was a trap. <laughs> Woo! Nailed it. Okay, okay. You won that one, Jesse. Let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much, shall we? Front door is definitely a no-go. Ah, stick with me, guys. How are we going to get in? Through the window? The oh, okay, we're playing again. Sorry. <laughs> like, there's points where I just think I'm watching, and I kind of put the controller down a bit and start watching, and it's only like, press left. I'm like, ah, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> a little bit of a leap. Oh, I wish you could do it. How cool would that be if you could do that in the game? Imagine if Minecraft, they added way more zombies. Oh, that doesn't look promising. But you could jump across their heads. What? How much fun would that be? Like zombie head parkour. You just gasped. Like you'd seen something. No, no. Who he was? Some creepy guy in the window. He had a white pumpkin for a head. White pumpkin? No such thing as white pumpkins. 
Let's save the agricultural discussions for inside, okay? Well, it looks like we've found our host. And if you remember from the trailer, he's a, a bit of a spooky character. Um, oh, okay. Oh, I'm actually playing now. Uh, path back. No, I don't, I don't want to go to the path back. That's where we came from. Uh, oh, up. Window, window, window. Through the window. I said the window. We should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees. We can cut those down. Good plan. Well, we, we should have a bunch of dirt anyway from when we dug the other path. But to be fair, luckily we're, we're pretty quick, so <laughs> I love those and moments. Now my inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. Okay, Looks remember like that. Kind of kitchen in there. Then break the window and get us into the blasted place. Right, let's Hope go and smash doesn't our mind way us in. breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. And let's go and beat the uh, meet the the other guests. I know who they're gonna be. I'm so looking forward to this. You, you don't know how exciting this is for me to be in a video game. Wow, some kitchen. Look at those furnaces. They're oh, hot. God. You know I don't care if you took it. Just give it back. And I'm telling you for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't take the stupid thing. I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasantness. If... Uh, what the? Hi. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. Now, this is your house, right? Because if it is, we've all been waiting for like hours. It's rude. We got one of these invitations too. What the heck is going on here? Darn. Sorry for the language. That wasn't about you getting an invitation. Just that I was hoping you could explain things. It's Captain Sparkles! This is Torque Dog. Sup? And I'm Captain Sparkles. I know. No, maybe you know that already. Yeah, I did. Captain Sparkles? I've got like. Uh, also, if you no clue who you are, let's put him down Sparkles? a bit. Let's say no clue who you are. <laughs> Show some respect. The man's a captain. Yeah, I actually have no idea who you are. Oh, really? Like, no idea? Like, none? Nope, sorry, but uh, my name's Jesse, and that over there is Lucas and Petra and Ivor. Charmed. <clears throat> Jesse? That's a girl's name. What are you guys anyway? Some sort of <clears throat> loser patrol? Talk dog. Oh, come on, that was hilarious. Actually, we're the Order of the Stone. Legendary heroes. Kind of a big deal. Legendary heroes? <laughs> I ain't never heard of you. Tork Tork, cool it. That sea of zombies has us all trapped. So we just need to try our best to get along. Worst day ever. Just try and look on the bright side. Wait, how many more people are in this place? Counting us? Seven? Mm-hmm. Most of them useless. I tell you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone, <coughs> Torque Dog is out of here! Okay, so the sea of zombies isn't normal. It's good to hear. Two moons is normal, though, right? Um, the moons? Uh, yeah. Why don't you know about this stuff? Are you from, like, out of town or something? Ah! Ow! Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, no! Looks like our host might have arrived. Stop. What's up with the lights? Hey, what's going on? Oh. <gasps> what's happened? Hey, Jesse. Jesse, come here. You've got a, a girl's name. <laughs> <laughs> Those were his final words. Well, things are. Uh... Yeah, well, it looks like we're not waiting around. Uh, Things have got started. We've only just arrived. Torque dog? Torque dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be... Jesse isn't just a girl's name. All those arrows, his inventory, everywhere. How did that... Who? One minute he's alive, the next... Gone. Poof. Wow, you seem pretty broken up about this. Were you guys close? I mean, not really. He was kind of a tough guy to be close with, but it's still terrible. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is why it's is very this lucky he was standing right underneath that dispenser, to be fair. And look, he he had like some some pink wool and some pink pants on uh, him as who well. Would do this? <laughs> I know we should be sad because he just got taken out, but he was probably literally the most unlikable character in the world, to be fair. 
gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Ah! Jesse, have you figured anything out yet? There's the trap door that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Yeah, Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? Mm. <laughs> Smells like... Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're... they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows. The possibilities are fascinating. You ever seen them used like this before? In a trap like this? No way. Could have sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. <laughs> My nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Our Captain Sparkles is so good. He just fits well, in so well with everyone else. Well, back to you. Hello? Everything okay in here? Whoa! Howdy, Shadow Lady! the crowd? I, uh, I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Okay. Hang on a minute. It's you. I recognize you. Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? Recognize us? How? I'll show you. Follow me. Oh, I think we're gonna get um, to meet everyone now. Okay. So that looks like the, the murder mystery have started. So basically the um the episode is us working see, out uh, who the host is and what's going on. Oh, you've got them with you. <gasps> And this is uh, where we're going to be spending our well, time, first I guess. it was the portraits of the people already here, then poof, you guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. <laughs> well, not nose. perfect. <laughs> looks like Rudolph. Literally perfect. Must have been when we showed up. This is so ridiculously creepy. It's me! I can see me! At first I was like, oh cool, fan art. Flattering. But the more I thought about it, creepy is definitely right. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Let's huddle up in the dining room. There's me and Dad DTM. Told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. And Stacy plays. Just in case you didn't know. I'm sure you all know. Why am I pointing this out? You you know who they are. <laughs> Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Of Come course, on. that's my Let's first line. I hope there's cake. <laughs> what, what else would my first line be? Other than, I hope there's cake. <laughs> as I said, honestly, I really don't remember this from, from reading the script, so this is all pretty much new to me as well. Here, let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. W when did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. They're the Order of the Stone. Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. Apparently, they're famous heroes where they come from. You said there was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no. Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Torque Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. Just... I want to know what happened. For curiosity's sake. His stuff just disappeared. Went down this weird hole in the floor. 
Are we just supposed to take your word for that? Guys, I saw it too. Jesse was poking around in Torque Dog's stuff right before it got sucked into a hopper. So I'm looking at this situation, I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Talk Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. There's something you're not telling me, Lizzie? Uh, no, sorry. That came out wrong. You know what? Forget I said anything. Well, someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh! Dan's right! Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us! Hey, I don't know what kind of danger you guys are wrapped up in, but we just met you, so... I'm thinking this isn't my problem? Well, uh, we're all stuck in this house now, so it kinda is your problem too? Oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. I'm such Stevie, a brave character in this, over aren't here. I? I need to talk to you about something. Ooh. Lizzie. Psst. Lizzie. What's going on? I honestly the don't remember this. About it, this is exciting. The more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. Sounds like we've got a mystery to solve, people. Luckily, Detective Jesse is on the case. Let's get investigating, then. Okay, looks like the uh, the murder mystery has probably started. And there is cake! <laughs> I was promised that there was going to be cake, and there is cake. I am happy. This is so weird, because, I mean, it's weird hearing my own voice, of course. But it's also just weird, like, like, hearing all of my friends as well. Like, speaking to these characters. You know, I've been playing as Jesse and known all of these characters for ages. And, you know, then I've got my friends, you know, that I've hang out with in real life. And then they're all inside of this game. It's it's just weird. As you can imagine, it's very strange for, for me. But this is awesome. I'm so looking forward to the, the rest of the episode. So, uh, sadly, I'm going to end the uh, the first episode here. Uh, but don't worry, I'm going to try and upload it uh, as regularly as I can. I know sometimes I'm a bit slow uploading these. So, hopefully, I'm going to uh, do a little bit quicker this time. Because I know I'm just going to blast through and play all of this uh, straight away. So, yeah, I want to see what happens. <laughs> so, there's going to be a link down in the uh, description uh, to the next episode. It's also in a playlist now as well. So, the next episode uh, should probably just start anyway uh, as long as i've uploaded it already uh, so yeah in the next episode i'm gonna go and uh, speak to to myself my friends and uh, the other characters and uh, yeah hopefully find out what is going on around here who the white pumpkin is and who killed talk dog but that's the end of this episode here thanks for watching and i'll see you later